Hey everybody guys, it is Sherpa here. Boy, do I have an unexpected but delightful little opening we are going to do today. Alright, so I went ahead and bought another Mystery Booster box. Uh, I ended up saying fuck it, I wanted some Double Masters. Uh, they came with these two, a Core 20, uh, 2021 promo pack and a Core 2021 foil promo pack. Uh, as well as I picked up my free pack from GameStop. So we're going to go ahead and open them in the order. Yeah, I think we're going to open them in this order. So Mystery Booster will be last. So I'm going to move this off up here. <clears throat> Hoping for like an Uro something. But uh, this is a free pack. So I'll uh, catalog this one a little separately. I've got the, you guys can kind of see it down here. It's the bag of trash which is slightly at the very bottom corner uh this one i'm gonna say i'm, I'm not even gonna order it or anything because it's just gonna go uh straight over to the side to be sorted later oh, another stage is kind of this is kind of a dark print on these ones i'm noticing uh here of the next born oh, i like that card i like the art on that card a lot and the rare mythic is a oh shit a Heliod Suncrown. Okay. That's a pretty good hit right there. That's not a bad uh, little mythic. Nice. All right. That's a good free pack. I'll take that. Um, <clears throat> Promo pack. Let's see. I don't really know what's all in these bad boys. I've only opened like one of these before. So, okay. Maybe it should be this way. Uh, uh, is it like a tear? No, it's not. It's not a tear because it's so tight. So few cards. Uh, okay, Arena, is this a code? I don't think it's a code. Let me see. Oh, it is a code. All right, cool. That'll go off to the side. All right, let's see. First card is... Oh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. All right. And then a uh, Frantic Inventory. Okay. And a Temple of Epiphany. So, don't really know how good these are. Temple's probably meh. The Priest is probably the best pool in this. Frantic Inventory is kind of cool. So that's kind of dope. All right. Wasn't expecting these, so <clears throat> these are just kind of an added bonus, um, which is kind of nice. Let's see. So this one will probably have a thing, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide that over there. So is the middle card? I think the middle card's uncommon, so we'll put it at the top and see what we get here first. Boom. Oh, nice. A foil Heartfire Emulator. That is beautiful. I've seen that card a lot in Jumpstart. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. And then... A, oh my god a foil guardian project okay i actually wanted this card oh my god that's actually amazing and then it wow a foil temple of silence oh that's right this is a foil pack wow i was acting all surprised because it's foil but holy hell all right guardian project nice okay that's dope actually my friend's deck that i'm about to play after this uh runs one of those Oh, these, these ones are just pulling apart. These packs are, whoo. <clears throat> All right, Double Masters. All right, Rapacious Dragon, Solomar Savager, Death Hood Cobra, Trumple Magnet, Golem Skin Gauntlets, Little Shot Gauntlets, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Alabaster Mage, Alabaster Mage, uh, Core Tapper, Treasure Mage, Pyrewild Shaman, all right, and then Adaptive Automation. Adaptive Automation enters the battlefield as a chosen creature type. Adaptive Automation is chosen creature type and addition, or chosen type and other do its other creatures you control the chosen type get plus one. Okay, that could be good in my artifact deck. That that I could see that being kind of powerful. And then, oh shit, hell yeah, Sword of Feast of Famine. All right, not bad, not bad. And then a Foil Urza's Tower. Okay, okay. And a foil cath cathedium? Okay. And a mer token. All right. That's uh. All right. Okay. Okay. Sword of Feast and Famine has protection from green, black, and green. This card is a new town tap. Oh, man. Okay. That's a good. That's a good hit right there. Sword of Feast and Famine. How much? Actually, let's uh. Let's pull that up real quick. What is the Sword of Feast and Famine value? We're just going to put it in a test. I'm actually going to check uh, adaptive automation as well, just to see. And like I said, I'm not really worried about 
checking the actual adaptive automations of buck 38 from double masters uh that's not mirrored in besiege though it's uh it is sort of feast and famine but i guess they don't have it on the they don't have it in the double masters format yet for some reason that's kind of weird Yeah, because it says it's a $54, but yeah, okay. Well, I mean, hey, that's uh, that's definitely a, a massive hit right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bloodbriar, Cast Down, Weapon Surge, Sylvian Might, Chromatic Star. Oh, another Urza's Tower, okay. Cloud Raider Sphinx, another one of those. Crusader of Odric. Uh, Mishra's Factory, nice. That's a that's a nice. Another Treasure Mage, okay. Uh, Galvanic Blast, okay. And Cord of Calling and Blade Splicer with a Foil Bloodshot Trainee and a Foil Onaganada? Oh, let me crash. Ooh. Okay, interesting. And a Worm Token. Okay, let me see these two real quick just to see. Which one of these cards? Oh, okay. Court of Calling. That looks like that might be a good card. Uh, four dollars and nine cents, and thirty nine cents for the Blade Splicer. So Blade Splicer's kind of bunk. Okay, Sword of Feast and Famine though, definitely a hit. Definitely a hit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you wanted it. We got it. Let's uh let's crack a lack this thing. All right, can we get an Elish Norn? Can we get a Ristic Study? Can we get another demonic tutor? Can we get I don't know, can we get something crazy? Can we get maybe another mana crypt? Maybe double mana crypt, so we'll find out. We will find out. On this episode of Mini Magic the Gathering players ask if Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh is poking your mom. All right. Keep that for another box. Here we go. I'll put the box up here, actually. All right, we're going to reverse the order, so because I like to go left to right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. It's probably the last time. Uh, actually, it won't be the last time you see me open, but this will probably be, this will be the last time for a while. You get to see me open one of these. So, um, trying to decide how I want to do this. Blue. Okay, no demonic tutor yet. Blue, black, we'll do reds up here. Actually, let's do reds down here. So we'll do, yeah, perfect. Red, green, um, multicolored, oh, look, lands. Oh, Gilt Leaf Palace is our first. Oh, an Atorian Mauler and a Mind Slaver. Wow. All right. Three rare first pack. Boom, boom, boom. Um, let me let me go ahead and set up a what is this? This is how many mystery booster boxes have we tracked? This should be number five, I think. Yeah. Mystery booster box number five. All right, so add a scanner, get leaf palace, mind slaver, Torian Mauler. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, not bad. I think I'll go ahead and uh, and save the actual um, save the actual like changing the things. I just want to do these first ones to see. I like five dollars and sixty three cents. Okay, so we'll go ahead and scan. Um, we'll scan them later. I just want to crack them for right now. I really just want to get kind of kind of through this as quickly as I can. Man, these packs actually feel different than like they're they're sturdy and they're maybe I should try to open them like this so I can save them for like a doing something. All right. Demonic Tutor? Can we get a Demonic Tutor? Let's find out. 
Watch the dust, scuttling death, raising the wolves. Actually, wait, yeah, no, because the black goes over here, this goes over here, and then multicolored, yeah, and then I'll have the artifacts over to the side. Why is that one sliding so, that one is sliding so much, I'm sorry. Um, Woodborne Behemoth, Green Elemental, Chronix War Monk. <laughs> wow, really? Captain Dion, that's, um, okay. Uh, Avalanche Raiders, I think that's an uncommon. Shamanic Revelation and Ancestral uh, Kirin. Avalanche Traders. I will have the app to double check certain ones. Yeah, that's just an uncommon. Okay. That's just an uncommon. That's what I thought. Just double checking. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about saving them for resealing for uh, doing my own. Oh, cool. Durantha Caspin. So that's. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the legendary creatures off to the side. I should probably do that. Yeah, make sure. Legendary creatures off to the side. Um, teleport chain mage. We have chain rager. Okay, so nothing crazy, crazy. No, no. Man, these are these are really slick cards, man. I'll tell you. I feel like there's this was like a fresh printed batch or something. Kiss of Amesha. I almost read that as Kiss of Amnesia. Violent Ultimatum. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> hey, it an expropriate. Oh, hell yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, should I stack the foils? I'm going to just stack the foils in, the, in there. Expropriate. All right. One of the best cards in the set. Cool. You know, if you can call it a set. I call it a set. It's still a... It's still... You can still look in what's what's in it and everything. So, all right. That's a second appropriate for me. That's nice. That's a hit. That's a big hit for sure. Um, come on. I really want another Demonic Tutor. Like, I could really go for... I want a Ristic Study. Super bad. Super, super bad. Of course. Faster. Oh, Hammer Dropper. Uh, I gotta love that Hammer Dropper. Winding Soul Eater. That's... Technically a white identified, so. Ah, the Brimstone Dragon. Flibblefoot the Lost. Uh, Proclamation of Rebirth. Okay, so that's another legendary and a Proclamation of Rebirth. I think I did get a Proclamation of Rebirth. All right. I just hope to God that this stricken pack has an Elish Norn. Like, that's the one card that I really just like, God, if I could pull an actual Elish Norn and not have to use my... Or have a reason then to like use my um my uh proxy one I've got. Thorn of the Black Rose. Oh that's a bid there. Okay. Cartouche of Zeal. I forgot the cartouche was in here. Nature's claim, yep. Uh Merciful Geist. Uh Benithic Infiltrator. <gasps> Ooh, nice, and a Boros Reckoner and a Marinar. Dude, yes, Ristic Study, we finally hit it. Oh, Miami. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Is that, that's a common too? All right, well, that's going, that's going over into this file because that's a, too big of a hit. Oh, oh, baby, that is, that is beautimous. Oh, we hit the freaking Ristic Study, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Oh, except this is... Uh, it's it's still blue identity because I'm sorting really based off uh, commander. So even though it is devoid, all right, that means we're gonna hit a demonic tutor. I just know that means we're gonna hit a demonic tutor. That now that we got Ristic study, I don't know why I know that, but I just I got a feeling in my gut. I also feel like this might be a double mana crypt vault, like or a double mana crypt box. Watch us get a mana crypt like right here. Ah, approach of the second sun. And a wear and tear. Wear and tear, multicolored foil. Approach the second sun. Meh. I'm actually going to set the Rustic Study down here for right now. God, that's such a good card. I might have to slot this into my Kinnon deck that I was going to play. Uh, all right, Warden of Evil. Evil. All 
All right, come on, come on, shooter. Oh, nope, absorb this. Yeah. Bomber crops. Okay. Desert Zergon. Okay. Oh, let's not get too far. Okay, that's a claim and fame. Uh, prophetic prism. Um, path razor of Ulamog. Uh, debtor's knell. And a foil uh, spike feeder. A spike feeder? That's not a rare. That's an uncommon, I think. Yep, uncommon. That's a... Wow. Oh, that's time-shifted, though. If it was... Uh, nah, 56 cents. Okay, but still. That's a cool... I like the art on that a lot. Heather Hudson art. That's some, some nice art, for sure. I mean, oh, come on. There we go. All right, last pack of the first stack. Uh, so far, I feel like it's a pretty solid box. I mean, we've got Rhystic Study. we got... Um, expropriate. Those are definitely up there in the the value. So, oh, is there a card in there? Okay. Oh, look, there's a card in there. Oh, that one felt real weird. Oh, stave off. That's another good one. Uh, Wretched Griff. Okay. Covenant of Blood. Position of Kozilek. Got kind of excited when I saw it was uncommon. Um, Bombard. Fiery Temper. Timberwatch Elf. Arbor Elf, tap, untap, target forest. Oh, okay. Um, tower, Gargoyle, Filigree Familiar, Pestilence? Cage Sun and a Leveler. Okay, wait, so what is Pestilence? At the end of each turn, if no creatures are in play, sacrifice Pestilence. Tap, Pestilence deals one damage to each creature and player. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they're hard. It's hard to get the. Uh, you need like a sheet of white paper usually to make it work. Um, actually, let's just try it inside the booster box lid right here, real quick. That should work. Oh, that's just a common. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Interesting enchantment for four. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. I don't know. I could see some some interesting stuff happening with. I've said interesting enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Come on. Wait, is this a... Oh, okay. I opened it. Wait, did I? I don't know. Was this whole pack inserted upside down? Celestial Crusader. Uh, disenchant. Beautiful Scholar. Rainbow Wall. Double Summoner. No, wrist or no, um, the bonnet tutor yet. Destruction dragon, death reap ritual, uh, grave help refuge, master transmuter, okay, collective brutality, and one with nothing. Hey, foil one with nothing. That's kind of funny. Actually, I have a use uh, for that card in my, um, um, Minotaur deck. It could be actually useful. Ooh, come on. I know you. Oh, I know you're just bursting at the seams here. Big boy Arito. Good for the states. Pass it to the pass off for us. All right, come on, demonic tutor, demonic singer, vampire, and go for the throat. Bang. Both solid cards, but not in what I was. Hoping or thinking we would get there. Uh, Marital Glory, that's a good one. Marshall, why did I say Marital? Uh, Milken, okay. Hey, Helm of Awakening. I actually really like the Helm of Awakening and War of Invention with another Mayogen of Life's Web. Nice, all right. Helm of Awakening is good. I don't know, is it? It's technically an uncommon, so good to know, but I like Helm of Awakenings. Um, I've Got some some decks that can definitely utilize it and everything. I'm thinking about building a stacks deck and putting it in as like a sort of peace offering so people might let me run it. <laughs> Running it with like Grand Arbiter. So it's like, oh, it makes my stuff cheaper, but with the uh, help of Awakening, it doesn't make your stuff more expensive. Or of a si or of silence, dismantling blow. Which technically has blue, but I'm gonna just ignore that for right now. Didn't see it, didn't see it. Crystal Changeling. Garage, Mark of Mutiny, Lead the Stampede. I feel like this might be the Mana Crypt, the Mana 
Mana Crypt box. Oh, Raft Cashman's Ship's Mage. Okay. Um, I have seen him actually as a blue, but yeah, okay, or as a blue white. Um, oh, Bow Bo of Naela. Okay. And Eldritch Evolution with a Paradox Haze. All right. Additional upkeep step after. That's nice. What is the Eldritch Evolution? Okay. Interesting. Man, I still can't believe I pulled the freaking Sword of Feast and Famine, though. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, Ghostblade Eidolon. That's cool. Arrest. Warden of Evosile. Man of War. Lazatep Behemoth, Fester Creep, that's cool. Dyna Charge, yeah, I like that card. Uncaged Fury, Wooly Luxodon, uh, Akinod Survival, Irisus, Irios, Eros, Champion, Universal Solvent, Demos Futal of Fetality, yeah, Fetality, I can. Any of your upkeep, you may gain control of target permanent until end of turn. If, if you do, untap it and gains haste. Oh, wow. That's a good is it commander. Okay. Except it's not a commander, so it'd be a good is it 99. Uh, memory erosion and a stocking stones. Okay. Sure, I haven't put any rare. I haven't got too, too, lot, too many lands, which is kind of nice because I feel like I have a decent amount of lands. All right, guys. Here we go. We're almost to the second stack here. Probably about another 20 minutes or so, I'm going to guess, roughly, on this. Theon and Relic, Book of Last, Griff, Gift, Fate, Rashka Finisher, Grim Affliction. Dang, really? No Grim Tutor. Oh, Rancor. <laughs> what the hell is down there? The Rancor, Kentry Invocator, uh, Tectonic Edge, now I get a land. Uh, Sapphire Charm, I have no idea if that's a rare. Release the Gremlins, yeah. And Mage Rites Strome. Untapped target creature that has an activated ability with a tap and its cost. Okay, I actually kind of like that. What is this Sapphire Charm? What does it do? That's a common? Okay. So I only got one rare in that pack? Wow. Okay. That seemed kind of like a little bit of a bunk pack there. Um, we still got a good amount of packs, so let's not... Let's not I hate, uh, dwell on it too much, though. Let's see what we can get here. Shouldn't take, hopefully, but another 20 minutes. Like I said, I'm probably not going to worry about scanning too much. I um, feel like I've gotten pretty good at knowing what's in these packs with the amount that I've opened. Ah, Grave Digger Tang. Chandra's Evolution. Gaia's Blessing. <laughs> cultivate. Hey, Cultivate. Engineered Might. Ash Barons. Ah, Elixir of Immortality. Sewer Nemesis, and a Runetail Ascendant. It is technically a legendary creature, but it becomes a legendary enchantment, so I'm going to just put it here because I don't think it can be a commander since technically it... Technically, it's, it's a win you have, and if you play it in commander and you summon it as your commander... The instant you summon it, if you're above above 30 life, which you start at 40, that's going to flip instantly. And so then I don't think it... I don't think that works too well. Furbish, displays, it's golden. Oh, what did we get? Uh, walk the plank and nameless in, in, intervention. Yeah, inversion. Sorry. Wow. Mutiny. All right, come on. Sylvan's crying. Search for a card for a library. Put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Okay, that's a, yeah. Balak's Caster Frogling. Interesting. Armillary Sphere. Megas of the Moat. Alicia Who Smiles at Death. Okay. I think I actually looked at a build around her before. You don't have to pass you pay. If you do return to a creature, power to you. Once you can do the death elf. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah, I think I did look around a low mana, a low CMC build around her, like three or less. Because it's what? Power of two? Two or less? Yeah. She could be interesting in a Cavalcade deck if I can, like, 
I mean, she's she's red, black, white, which gives me actually a lot of creature options. Like I could run Fervent Champion. I could run like um, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, I can run some like Rogues in there actually too, which would be another great thing to do. Reaper of Night, uh, Shatter, uh, good old Shatter, Wolken Bond, Third Blade, Zealous Persecution. Come on, can we get a Mana Crypt, please? Um, Sandstone Oracle, Phantom Centaur, Green Belt Rampager. I just put one of those in there, and an Azumi Shirt Fang, which is same deal. It transforms into a legendary, so it's not going to go in the thing. Uh, Phantom Centaur, I don't think that's an uncommon. Yeah, I assumed it was an uncommon because I could usually tell. All right, last stat, guys. This is where the good stuff's got to be. I feel it. Mystic Study and Expropriate, definitely the best two hits so far. I'm hoping that's not the only two real hits we've got. we probably got something else here and there. That's a little bit, and I know it adds up. But, oh, hey, old, like old counter spell, nice. Seal of Doom, that's some cool artwork on that. Fall of Fire, Teenage Aspires, Naturalize, Alpine Grizzly, Giant Baiting. All right, come on, I feel it. Mana Crypt, Mana Crypt, Mana Crypt. Uh, Floodgate, okay, no. Living Death, and hey, the uh, Minamo School at Water's Edge, another one of those, cool. I do have that in my, uh, my, uh, Niambi? Yeah, Ni Niamh. I don't know how exactly to say it. Dark Steel Mutation, nice. Failed Inspection, Mystical Teachings, Stallion, Ab Eshmount, Walker Corpse, No Demonic Tutor. What is this? Can you give me a mana crypt to make up for it? Pillory of the Sleepless. Ah, ah, Pillory of the Sleepless. This is a card I haven't seen too much of, honestly. That was kind of, I'm just going to kind of clean these up, and I'm knocking the like, next stack next to them every time I do it. So that's great. Nice. Uh, Gruel Signet. Hey! That's a good signet. I like I like the signets. I do. Triumph of the Hordes. Spawning Grounds. Okay. And a, what is this? Grogskull Captain. Other spirits get plus one, plus one, and have hexproof. Okay, so. Uh, it's multicolored. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Can we get double mana crypt in these last six? I don't, if I get a Phyrexian Metamorph, that's usually a good sign. Because both times, or the, the times I've gotten, the time I got my my Mana Crypt, I pulled it after a Phyrexian Metamorph, and I watched a YouTube video, I think it was uh, Open Boosters, where they pulled a Mana Crypt after a Phyrexian Metamorph. So, if we see a Phyrexian Metamorph, I feel like that's a good sign. Sorcerer's Broom, Flash Knight. Ah, oh, man, these packs are not. <gasps> yes, holy shit, we did do it. Oh, oh, oh the Grand Architect. Oh, 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 baby. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the mana, the crypt. The man in the crypt. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We actually did. I was like totally thinking we got bunk in that pack. I was like, wow, this is a bad pack. We're not getting anything. We got fucking mana crypt. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh, you know, I forgot about sun triplets. You know, I can go for sun triplets. I mean, I'm not saying I need one. I got three. I'd much rather get another mana crypt. Oh, oh, baby, that felt good. Oh, I completely forgot we were looking for Demonic Tutor there. Oh, my God, yes. Well, I think we're sitting pretty now, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's I think it's hard to lose after hitting. Oh, a Heatron Crab. <gasps> that's a good, that's a good mill. Ooh, Mimic Vat, nice. And a Reki, History of Kimikawa, nice. All right, we got four left. Can we hit another freaking Mana Crypt? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I swear to god. Dude, oh, Rune and Board, you have not done me wrong yet. 
This is my local LGS. This is the second one I've got from them. And both of all the boxes I've got, the ones that have had the Mana Crypt, have been from my local LGS. Oh, sweet dangled dick fuck. That's amazing. Uh, uh, ooh, fires the enemy. Oh, oh my god. Fires it. Dude, yes. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. You know what? I'm going to actually put this over here for right now because I need to take a picture of that for... For someone, Bone Splitter, and hey, another Corsair Crew Fix, and a Blighted Agent. Okay, cool. Yes, Fire's the Amiable. I'm going to send that to my friend, because, uh, uh, there we go. Come on. I'm going to say five minutes. can do anything you want when you pull a double meta crypt double meta crypt or maybe give me demonic tutor nope ah oh, man god if i had a demonic tutor and another mana crypt that's that's all i need like I, ooh, priest of titania that actually would be really good in an alt deck uh, uh ration foot pad yeah that card's meh yeah. Oh, he has Lancers and a Suzuki Son of Shiro. That's interesting. That's an interesting card. It'd be interesting in a Snake Warrior deck. Snakes and Warrior. Because other snakes get plus one plus zero. And whenever a warrior control deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at the end of combat. So basically it just gives everything, every all your warriors death touch, which is awesome, honestly. Mazatep Behemoth, Death Denied, Cyclops, Special Mask, Thrashing Brontodon. Ambush, moon, moon, love extra. Oh my God, no! Is there is there a mana crypt behind this? Okay. Oh man, dude, I was about to lose my shit. Hey, another Norn's annex though. That's nice. Oh my God, I really wish there had been though. Oh my God, I can't believe that. All right, last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Last shot for Demonic Tutor. Last shot for another Mana Crypt. Last shot for anything until December. Come on, Demonic. 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 Oh, Blood Artist. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Blood Artist is a solid commander card. Blood Blade, uh, Blood Braid Elf is a good one. Phantasmal Dragon. Ooh, nice. Another Animar. Okay. And a Allosaurus Riders. Okay, cool. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. So, definitely the three big hits for sure. Expropriate, um, Rhystic Study, Mana Crypt. Those three, let me see. Just these three cards. Mana Crypt is still almost a $100 card. Yep, Mr. Wow, okay. Wait, is it more? Wow, Rhystic Study is actually more than... Uh, yeah, those 12 cards that I've scanned so far are... Um, oops, hold on. That's not... $146. I'm pretty sure I can get less... I need like 30 bucks in value. I'm pretty sure I can get 30 bucks in value than the rest of this, so... Wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you guys so much for viewing. Uh, I appreciate that. What a crazy box opening. That's uh, Mana Crypt number two. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. Thank you guys for viewing this. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.